How's it going everybody? Chadley here and today we got a hot fix for Borderlands 3 and it is insane the amount of weapons that received a buff and they're actually pretty substantial for a good chunk of them. Even grenades got a 30% bonus to their damage all grenades which is pretty ridiculous but right now I wanted to start off with covering the gun that I was most excited about its buff and in my opinion has like the strongest buff so far out of the ones I have tested and that is the smog this is the SMG from the end of the guardian takedown and what this weapon does is when the weapon shield is active so when I aim down sight here you can see the little purple shield that sticks out of the sides of the gun the shots are going to be amped so this weapon received a 50% base damage increase as well as a two times increase to its amp shots so now it is really, really rewarding to run through the Guardian takedown, but also it's really rewarding to be using this weapon and getting kills with it because when you do get a kill, it's going to reset the shield on it. So if you lose your shield by enemies shooting you, uh, getting a kill with the weapon is going to bring it back and you guys can start doing amp damage again. So this gun just feels really good to use, but otherwise I have this URAD radiation version here and then a corrosive consecutive hits for our testing today. And I'm just on Amp Master Flak, and the only thing that's different from our build is that I spec'd into two fang just because this is a single projectile weapon. And I wanted to get the most out of it, but otherwise, we're just rocking Cosmic Stalker and all that kind of stuff. And let's just jump into it. We're gonna start here on Athena's, and then we're gonna move over to the Malawan takedown, and then finally the Guardian takedown, and see if this buff actually shaked up the meta at all. So let's go ahead and just jump right into these Athena enemies. And as you can see, it's like two shots to kill these guys. It's completely overkill for Athena's. It's absolutely insane how much damage this weapon is doing right now. So we're not going to spend much more than a couple more seconds here. And then we're going to move on to the Malawan takedown, true Malawan takedown. And we can get a little bit better sense of how hard this weapon is actually hitting right now. So now here in Malawan True Takedown, I have not changed a thing. Let's just see how well this weapon is doing against these enemies. And let's just jump into it on these war dogs. This is a radiation version with bonus radiation, and it is still destroying those war dogs that fast. It's kind of insane how much damage this gun is doing. The only complaint I have about this weapon is its accuracy isn't that great. I feel like... It should feel like a hyper focus, but it's not quite to that level of a laser, but this thing hits so hard, I'm willing to forgive it in that category. But otherwise, this thing is just doing so much damage and it's just a ton of fun to be using at the moment. I definitely, definitely recommend using this on a lot of your builds already. So if you guys are playing Zane or Amara or Flak, I would definitely use this. I don't know if I would use this on Moe's. You definitely can. It just doesn't do splash damage, and she's definitely getting a huge, huge bonus out of splash damage. But the other three characters, I highly, highly recommend giving this weapon a chance on your builds. But otherwise, you can just see how fast this weapon is shredding when I don't have invisible walls blocking my bullets. It just does so much damage. And then when you guys are hitting your crits, it's seriously insane. The only time I've really found this weapon not performing as well as something like a light show is when I can't hit the crit of the enemy on like the boss or something. I still feel like the light show does more consistent boss damage than this weapon, but this weapon definitely can be shot further and more accurately than the light show. So there's definitely a trade off there and it's uh, it's good to see some competition for the light show. But let's go ahead and jump over to the Guardian takedown and see if we can kill some of those enemies which are truly the true test of the weapons in this game. Now time for the true test of the smog. We're gonna be in true guardian takedown here and like I said, I have not attempted this yet so I have no idea what to expect out of this weapon. I'm hoping it can kill these guys and it looks like it can. I know these are the smallest enemies we are shooting at and it didn't seem to actually end up killing them but we also didn't have anything kind of ramped up and it doesn't look too super promising i don't know if this is going to replace light shows for guardian takedowns but it definitely seems to do okay um this is definitely doing all right once you get some kills stacked up with or cosmic soccer you're good to go but this replacing a light show i don't think it's quite there yet this gun is definitely still absolutely amazing after the buff 
but I don't think it's quite light show levels, but it's good to see a little bit of a competition for the light show in other activities. I would still use a light show in here though. So yeah, my overall opinions on the smog buff. I think this gun is absolutely amazing for mobbing and is going to be very useful on a ton of different builds. It's very good to see this thing actually have a use now but I don't think it's quite to the level of like a light show for killing bosses and stuff. And it's definitely not as good as like a mayhem for hyper focus was, but this thing is definitely very worthwhile and it works well on a ton of different builds. Like I said, on Zane, you guys can get a ton of use out of the smog on Amara. You guys will get a ton of use as well as it is elemental. You can do a lot of cool things there. And then obviously flack is going to get a ton of use on out of this. I'm not really sure if I would use this with Moe's, but I'm definitely down to give it a shot. But otherwise, that is going to wrap up this weapon review. Like I said, we have so many weapon buffs to be covering, so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel to check those out. But otherwise, I'll catch you guys over on Twitch tonight. We're going to be testing a bunch of stuff, so hopefully I will see a bunch of you guys over there right around 8 p.m. Central Time. But have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya.